Ja, today I'm gonna put your nose to the test. Although it's a very sophisticated and elegant nose, I picked 10 sexy niche amber fragrances that I want you to not only rate them if they're any good or not, but rate them on a scale of one to 10 if you would smell them, buy them, recommend them. Well, they are niche, you're not buying anything. I can't afford you. But would you recommend them to the audience Wait, as sexy fragrances? Niche means expensive? Uh, not traditionally, but yeah, it's pricier than some other basic designers or clones. All right, sure, yeah, let's, let's take a first spin. Uh, let's roll map music so Jock can rate these amber fragrances that I selected. You're just- That I won't recommend because they're expensive. This video's gonna be a bust. <laughs> Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A, and the one and only Ski is Nathaniel to you. Just can curse, right? Yeah, not is within the first 30 oh, seconds, because okay. then I get, you know, completely blocked as <laughs> usually YouTube does to me. Blocked and reported. Five, four, three. Two, one, bitch! Now you can curse. There you go. So, Ja, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have you rate ten fragrances. These are all amber. Amber, generally, according to Fragrantica, it's resinous, it's sweet, it's vanillic, it's balsam, it's fur. Do you ballsy. understand any of that? I'm ballsy. That's not what it means. So for me, <laughs> on ambery fragrances, I get this little bit of a sweetened, sugary, caramelo kind of tendency, like the coating on top of a flan. Yeah, and that's you your diabetes speaking. Bitch, you've definitely in a few flans in your day, okay? Exactly. I can skip a meal. Or three. Or a week. A month. <laughs> Fasting like the Muslims. I look like a stripper. Who swallowed a stripper? Who swallowed a stripper? One thousand percent. Let's get into these fragrances. The first one I'm money gonna have- Money talks, you... papa. I mean, that's equivalent to money at this point. Right. The first fragrance I'm gonna have you smell is delicious. Ooh. For me, and it's- Snake Sand Dance by Stefan Umbert Lu. Pass. I'm getting some Paul Mooney vibes already. That Paul Mooney is something. No, John, ja, no, stop. Did you just say s Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Ew. Too easy. Stop. Later. Yeah. I'm gonna look up, smell this Ooh, while I look up delicious. the notes because you want some, ah, you like it already, huh? Oh, huh? Huh? That shit hit the air running. That it did. Wow, this is really good. We're doing notes. That's so it's not just amber in this? you're always a great, no. All of these have amber, you know, for me they're a little bit more amber forward, but they have other notes. Got for it. example, in this one airs whiskey. Ooh, no wonder whiskey, I like. Whiskey, coriander, mandarin, orange, followed by cacao, sandalwood, and cashmere. Cacao! Oh, Jesus. And then tonka bean, benzoy, styrax, white cedar, and patch. Ja, what do you think of Sand Dance by Stefan Umbert Lucas? I get a lot of whiskey. Stands out. Oh, Stands out like a sore thumb. I'm thirsty. Get some orange in there for sure. Okay. Cacao, a little bit, a okay. little bit, a little chocolatey vibe, but okay. not too much. And that's pretty much all I'm getting. You sound wild congested. No, I'm actually doing pretty good today, bro. <laughs> that's, I'm that's on sad. meds. That's I'm sad. on I'm, meds. I'm happy to hear that. I'm like Big Lou. He's got type 2 diabetes. Oh. Two. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate Sand Dance, Ja? Man, one to 10, shit. 7.5. 7.5 on Sand Dance. Would you recommend this to people? Forget the price point, it's expensive. The I would scent. recommend this to specific people who don't shower for three days straight. What? Sand <laughs> Oh shit, come on, you didn't know that one was coming? <laughs> you didn't know that one was coming? I wish I didn't hear that, but I just heard that. Next one. Jesus. At least three days. Holy shit. All right, so the next fragrance Ja is going to smell before I get officially canceled is by the house of Orisha, and it's Persepolis, one of my favorite amber fragrances in the Persepol. world. You can't even get this, so I don't even bother recommending it if you like it. Just rate Why it. Why can't you get it? It's discontinued, doesn't even exist. You can't find it on the gray market. It's a So how the hell did you get it? I've been had this, bro. I'm one of the OGs Ooh. in this joint. What? This is harsh. What? I'm getting serious, serious isopropyl vibes. I don't know what the fuck Rubbing that is. alcohol. Oh, no, what? You're insane. Just let it die down a little bit, because so, it was really aggressive. While you're smelling that, I'll let everybody know the notes, which is Calabrian, Bergamont, followed by Sandalwood, Amber, and Ooh. So there's not many notes in this thing. There's not many notes in here, but this is just... Man, this thing smells like a burning wildfire right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting a lot of this agarwood. Agarwood. Ood. Y ood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're getting ood. I'm okay. getting that, yeah, because it smells a little like like poopy. <gasps> oh no. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's fine. It's not terrible. I've I smelled worse oud. You have. <clears throat> and a lot of sandalwood. You're getting a lot of sandalwood. As in chancleta <clears throat> wood? Sandalwood? Yeah. Chancletas. On a scale of one to ten, Ja, what would you rate this joint? This is a six. A six? Shit. It's a fucking master. It smells like one of those San Diego wildfires. The Canadians are coming. Next. The Canadians Next are coming. One. Jesus. Shit is on fuego like San Diego. Who said that? Remember that? No. No idea. Jay Z. Never you know. You know. Who is he? Meeple. So the next fragrance, Ja, you're going to be rating is by Morescu, and this one is called Soul Batique. Here you go, Thank sir. you, sir. Let me be your sous chef. Go ahead. Soul Batique. Oh, this is nice. While you're smelling that, I'm going to let everybody know the notes of cardamom, bergamot, oh, incense, do. geranium, pink pepper, vanilla, amber, and patch. I said Germain's in the house. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Why gotta be geranium? I said Jerome in the house. Yo, this is good. This is solid. So far, out of all these ambers, this is really good. Now out of this, <clears throat> let's see what I'm getting. Pink pepper, never smelled that before. Okay. Is that a thing? Yeah. I do get a little vanilla in here. Okay. A lot of incense, which I'm not opposed to. I feel like I'm walking on 34th Street right now. Yo, somebody in our last video, Dr. J's. Now that I mentioned 34th Street, remember we used to go yes, there all yes, the time. Yes, Dr. J's. There was nothing but incense. There was one up, there wasn't there one uptown? They ended up putting one there, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of incense. Mm -hmm. Bergamot, refresh my memory. What the hell is bergamot? Here, look, I'm gonna make your life easier. When you click on the note. It looks like a lemon. It's a crossbreed between like a lemon and a lime. Really, so you mean it's they had six? six? It's citrusy, it's it. bitter, it's tart, and it has elements of sweetness also. But it's kind of a combination of both. This is uh, definitely sweet, so I can see how a lemon banged a lime here. On a scale of one to ten, Ja, what would you rate this fragrance? Soft porn. Oh, uh, this right here is an eight. Eight. Soul Batique is an eight. Wow, yeah, so solid. far the highest rated one. We'll put this one yeah. to the side. Next one. Sweet. You mean a lemon banged a lime? It's like a chihuahua. Banging a pit bull. What are you talking about? What? So the next fragrance I'm gonna have Ja smell is by the House of Premier Parfums, and that's Vetiver Amber, sir. Here you go, you? pal. Go ahead, smell. Don't say I don't do anything around here. You don't. Go ahead, smell. And while you do that, I'm gonna read the notes. While you do that, <laughs> I'm gonna go take a shit. Top notes are listed as bergamot, black currant, clove, and earl grey tea, followed by bakar and black suede, orris root, sandalwood, and vanilla. And at the base, we're talking about amber, Where do you grease, see this? Haitian vetiver, laotian oud, musk, and patchouli. You have good vision, Papa. Damn right I do, Ja. What do you get from this fragrance, and do you like it at all? Uh, I get a lot of like woods, woodsy, potpourri-ish kind of kind of flows. Oh. You know what I'm saying? More than anything, I am not enjoying this. Okay. So it's gonna get a six. Okay. So fragrances you don't enjoy get a six. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. That's fair. That's it. That's it. That's all you get. I could have said a four. You could say whatever the fuck you want to say. That's right. This is America. Oh, God. Now, this is why I came to America. This is America. Can you six? All right, so it's a four. Shit's garbage. All right, well, there you go. Vetiver Amber, he doesn't like it at all, and it's a four. Next one. It's a four. All right. So is your... Shut up. Your mom. All right, the next fragrance is a very popular fragrance in my house, and that's Serge Lutens Churgy. I would love to hand you a testy. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. Spray this a couple times for you. I dropped that. Excuse me, I'll Oh, get come back here. Spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. All right. That didn't take very long. Yeah, but I usually don't go that long. Hello. I don't really feel like doing that. Welcome to our world. So while you smell that, I'll Please read the tell notes. them what's in here. It is tobacco leaf followed by honey, amber, hay, Ooh. incense, sandalwood, iris, and musk rose. Okay, Oppenheimer. Ja? Getting a lot of honey and churgy. I fucks with. Oh, this is so good. Tons of honey in here. A lot of honey. Yes. No question. Agreed. There is a nice little tobacco element, which I'm really enjoying too. You do miss tobacco. Hey, what the hell does he? Isn't isn't that what the horses eat? Yeah. When's the last time you went to like a farm or maybe a little rodeo thing, a kids petting zoo? Oh, uh, maybe like two years ago. Yeah. So like apple, when I went apple picking, yeah. All right, I can cut. Yeah, I guess so. It smells like shit over there. <laughs> Um, but apart from that, I'm not getting any other any other notes. Maybe a little bit of yeah, I'm getting the amber, that little sweet yeah. flung looking thing. Why did you compare it to flung, bro? Why did I compare it to flung? Yeah. When you do a proper flung, you got that crystallized burnt sugar. Oh, you gotta burst, burn that sugar. That yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, and that's gotcha. what 
my nose interprets amber as. What do you rate this fragrance, Chuck? This right here, 8.5. This right here, 8.5 for Trini. 8.5, Next one. never fails, papa. All right, so the next fragrance I'm gonna have Jaws smell is by the house of Nishane, and that's Ambra Calabria. So this is a different take on an amber, and you'll see why momentarily. I love Nishane. And while you're smelling this fragrance, I will read the notes. It's just bergamot green leaf galvanum, followed by coriander, jasmine, amber, vanilla, and musk. There is no sweetness in here. Okay. So what's the difference? You just said that this is a different take on yeah, because this is a lot fresher Correct. than most of the fragrances that you're smelling. Now, you're I'm, saying you're not getting any sweetness in here. No. Okay. I'm getting a lot of greens, a lot of greens, which everybody knows that you I like love. botanicals, yes. This is really good. It's very nice. Yeah. I can do without amber in this one. Okay, so you like the there ain't no flaw in here. Oh, uh, well, okay. A scale of one to 10, what would you rate Nishane? Scale of one to 10, shit, I'm hitting an 8.5 again. 8 .5. Can you see that erection? No. It's the pleats. Amber Calabria. Get your dick, next one. You felt that dick print? Nope. Ooh, this is good, really good. So the next fragrance Ja's gonna smell, I think he's gonna be a little bit biased, but. Slightly dizzy It's here. by the house of Amouage, and that's Material. Amouage. This is made by Cecile Z, the queen. Oh, that's already tall girl? Yep. Nice. So. You think she can slam dunk? 100%. So these notes are oh. Elemi, Patchouli, Madagascar, Vanilla, Benzoin, followed by Tonka Bean, Incense, Labdanum, Gayak, Wood, Oud, and Oh, Memphis. It's a lot. Yeah, they swallowed some of that fragrance. Does not taste great. What the hell is in the lemon? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Here oh, you go. Oh, you can click on it. Oh, look at that. Balsams. Let's read. The lemon has a very fresh, spicy, pinne balsamic smell with citrus facet. Oh. Yeah, I can get that. It's good. It's got a little spice for sure. Yep. And I'm really enjoying it. That girl's good at what she does. She's a Not for nothing, bro. She's yeah, yeah. one of the best, yeah, for sure. It's not opinion. just because she's six foot six. Six foot nine, probably. Man, this is really good. I get the spice. Let's go back to what's in here. Sure. All right, come on. Do your job. Some de Definitely some Elemi. Not too much patchouli. It's not Elemi. What? Oh, it could be Elemi. Sure, she's a singer. Yeah. Madagascar, vanilla. I do get some vanilla vibes, but it's elegant and it's very subtle. Y'all know I don't fuck with vanilla all the time. Oh, that's so good. Benzino. He's in this too? Yes. Got it. I don't get any of that. Tonka bean? Maybe. And some incense? Yes, I do get some incense vibes. All right, well, scale one to 10, what would you rate this fragrance, Chuck? Yeah, it's a, it's a 7.5. 7.5 is still a great score for great material score. on a Go Next tip one. your McDonald's driver. Yeah. So the next fragrance I'm gonna have Ja rate is by the House of Vajmal in this Amber Santal. Ah, is it like Taj Mahal? Yes, it is. Taj Mahal. And while you smell that, let I'm me get you the no notes. Jerk off. Okay. It's cypress followed by pepper and nutmeg. It's I get sandalwood, the cypress in incense, this. Incense, sandalwood again, amber patchouli, and cedar. Tons of pepper, yes, which I love, right? Because it brings me back to the whole Ganymede, right? That's how you say Ganymede. Stupid. No nutmeg, some sandalwood for sure. Holla. There's not much amber in this. I don't get much amber vibes here. It's different. This is really good. It's sexy. I think so. I fucks with this. This is late night sexy too. It's also not super expensive. And I get some patchouli and cedar, which is good. I love those. All right, scale one to 10, what would you give amber? This is an eight, Papa. This eight. is good stuff. We're put this in the good one. So amber Santa. Put it in the good box. Boom. Next one. Why it gotta be amber though? Why can't it be? The next fragrance is Byzantine Amber by Francesca Bian. And while you smell that, hit you with the notes. Cinnamon bergamot followed by geranium and heavy leather followed by labdanum incense, heavy styrax, benzoin, and amber. Heavy yes. on the leather. I know, the leather hits you different. So my speed. Yeah, the leather hits you different, I know. Jeez. I know. It's dominant. It's very dominant. You're into that type of stuff, aren't you? Oh God, just gag ball, execute <laughs> Assless chaps and whip me, bitch. I got you excited, didn't it? Sorry. Lots of cinnamon, for sure. Hey, where are your tassels? <coughs> Sorry. Do you have nipple tassels? No, I oh. took my nipple piercings. Can you? <laughs> uh, definitely some germanium in here. Click on, I wanna see what the hell germanium, did we look that up already? Germanium? Geranium, sorry. And I'm dyslexic. Flowers. Yes, geranium God. is a flower. It's a group of flowers. Yes. I don't, yeah, it could get a little rosy up in here. Here, take, yeah. take that first spin. Oh, I can smell it, trust me. It's, this has no lack of performance. Damn, this is a special, special scent right here, Papa. This is getting a nine. This is really good. Byzantine Amber. It's Bye. housing everything that I like. Like the migrants. L last one. Stay away from the migrants. Jesus Christ. 
And the final fragrance Crunchy. is by the house of Jeroboam, and that's Ambra. Jeroboam? Jeroboam, that's somebody's name. Here, smell this, and let me give them the notes. And that is incense geranium bergamot, followed by Peru balsam, patchouli vanilla, tonka bean, musk, and Betty Berry. This is harsh, is there paint thinner in here? I mean, I like paint thinner. I love kerosene, but I, that's what I'm getting here. You like that smell? I love those smells. You never threw those in a brown bag and just inhaled? No, Spike Lee. It's delicious. It's, it's like it's crookly. Let's do the right thing. No, I'm not. This is really you. harsh. All right, so now, all right, now it's toning down. Okay. Hmm. What am I getting here? Oh, I get some things from Peru. <laughs> right? They use kerosene make... to cut. That's how they make cocaine. You never seen the documentaries? No, I know nothing about narcotics. This is still harsh, Papa. <laughs> I. It's cocaine. Scale one to ten. Yeah, it's a six. All right, that's six. Not your flow. Mm, it's not my flow. Does that mean is it really a four? It's probably a four. My six is the equivalent to a four. My wife tells me that all the time. It feels like a four. It's ah. a six, but it feels like a four. Go figure! But we all know that now. Easy. Ja, thank Go you figure. very much. Let's let's run down your final uh, best high ranking fragrances. Starting you off with me, you, yeah, that was Amber high. Santel, followed by Byzantine Amber, followed by Ambre Calabria, followed by your mother Chergi. And finally, Soul. Betty. I'll put links in the description to all these fragrances so if you, you choose. Get paid. If you choose to follow Jaw's recommendation, and I can get a check. And if you like this type of content, please leave what other fragrance notes you want me to pull, and Jaw will rate in the comments below. I love y'all, mother suckers from the heart. Great job today, You're buddy. You're a good You're piece of shit. Right. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Smooth. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>